can't quite be sure, but I think the last time I got a B plus was a couple of months ago. You see, I've lost track of time. I mean, I know the day and everything, but I don't remember the last time I wasn't stressed out about a test. Everyone wants to impress their parents, get grades that some people would kill for, and then go to an Ivy League college. Get a high achieving job that makes everyone around you disgusted by the money you make, but you don't want to let anyone down. I don't want to let anyone down and ruin anyone's expectations of me. I only get A's anymore. It's what everyone expects of me. There isn't any time to live a life outside of these worn out pages. You have to strive and struggle to get the grades only teenagers dream of. Funny how it kills so many, these papers I mean. Write, read, repeat. Write, read, repeat. Write, read, repeat. Over, over, and over again. I have to do this. I'm just sick of it. Why won't you take a rest and eat some dinner with us? No, I have so much work to do. It's not like I can take a break. I have to finish writing an essay, and then I have to study for chemistry, geometry, Euro, and Spanish. Oh, okay. Sadly, it's not an option to stop caring. Things we don't want to. I go day in, day out, wearing the same smile, the same frown. I work hard not to be another day. I can't breathe, but it's all. I'm stitched together by what others say about me, and I'm filled with books on algorithms and elements. My skin is a chalkboard that is constantly written on by others. I'm afraid if I close my eyes, I'll miss something important. I want to be me. I don't want to be bound together by anxiety anymore. How could I have been so reckless? Take to bring us down to our knees, but now I'm an heir to this world's way of life, the monster it's created. I've stepped out of my place, and for this, I have to be punished. What I saw, but never knew for all the tiredness in you. I want to be free. Why should I have to live my life in the pages of a book? On my computer screen, in the letters of my writing. My whole life is held together by what the paper says. It isn't who I am that defines me, it's the thin sheet of paper. I don't want to be held together by something that can so easily destroy me. A life dictated by others. A life that isn't mine. It's a life I don't want to live. But now I don't have to suffer any longer. Now I can be me. Now I can be free. These broken pieces will mend together and the world will heal your sad thoughts. I promise that in the end, everything will be all right. I promise.